The silver lining from last week's loss to the Dolphins is that Justin Fields continues to improve his play on a week-to-week -week basis. And not only that, he set the NFL record for the most rushing yards in a game by a quarterback. Time for Fields, now he'll accelerate at the first down and break tackles and he's after the races. Oh, he got a terrific block down there by Mooney. And now we turn our attention to week 10 and the Detroit Lions, a team the Bears are 7-1 and one against since 2018. Now it's kind of been a tale of two halves for the Lions this year in offense. The first month of the season, they were the highest scoring team in all the league, but have cooled off since then. Sitting at 2-6, and six, but coming off a huge victory against the Packers last week. I do believe there's two completely different storylines here for both teams. The Bears offense has looked better than it has over the last five, six, seven years. And the Lions are coming off a defensive game that I have not seen from Detroit in a very long time. Something they can look to build on. Turning Aaron Rodgers and the Packers over three times. I think as a Bears fan... You know, hopefully Chicago can have success running the ball against Detroit and Justin Fields can continue to do what he's done over the past few weeks. I do worry about our defense. I know last week with Tua and Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, it's near impossible to guard those guys, but this week will be a good test. Bears-Lions games are always close. Like it's gonna come down to the fourth quarter. I am excited. I worry about Amon Ross St. Brown. For my prediction, I'm going to go Bears 31, Lions 24. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. And he's picked off. And it's going the distance. Eddie Jackson.